Paul Nash. What we gotta watch? What we gotta watch? What we gotta watch? Paul Nash. What we gotta watch? What we gotta watch? What we gotta watch? Paul Nash. What we gotta watch? What we gotta watch? What we gotta watch? Paul Nash. What we gotta watch? What we gotta watch? What we gotta watch? Yeah, buddy, that's right. Get exposure right now. Holla at the homie Paul Mash, man, for Paul Mash TV. Hit up Paul Mash TV across all social media sites, alright? Who we got next? Got next. Got next. Got next. Got next. Well, hello there. It's Paul Mash TV time once again. We're glad that you could join us again today. Got another great interview coming up in just a couple of minutes. But uh, before we do that, uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell if you're new to uh, my show. And when you do that, you're going to get the latest inter interviews whenever they become available. So we hope you do that and pay attention to the comment section below. We'll have links to my store, which have caps and t-shirts. And feel free to make a comment of your own. We'd love to hear from you. If you'd like to contact us another way, we have Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Paul Mash TV. And feel free to like the page and inbox us and comment on the things you see. We'd love to hear from you there as well. And there's good old fashioned email. That's Paul Mash TV, all one word at gmail.com. And uh, we uh, encourage uh, not just fans, but bands or solo artists to email us and uh, we'll tell you how to get on the show. And. Um, we also uh, have an official address, and we'll be giving you that uh, all at the end of the closing credits, so stay tuned for that. In just a moment, we'll have, uh, from Temple Hills, uh, Maryland, we have Ray, spelled R-A-E. And uh, I think you're really going to like this lady, and um, we'll get to that in just a moment. But first, let's have a quick word from Cliff Jam. Don't go away. <laughs> We got history, got me feeling the nostalgia when you look at me, thinking about what could All right, it's interview time again, and from Temple Hills, Temple Hills, Maryland, excuse me, we have Ray. Thanks for joining us, Ray. <laughs> hey, y'all, what's up, what's up, what's up? <laughs> well, I'm glad that you could join us today. Um, a question I like to ask at the very beginning is a question that I like to ask because everyone has their own story, but tell us a little bit about how Ray decided she wanted to become a musician. I mean, uh, did you fall into it? Have you always wanted to be a musician since you were little? I mean, uh, give us your story though. Um, actually, yeah. Um, singing has always been a thing for me since I was three. Um, I grew up in church. So from like six years old to like 1920, I was in the choir, the children's choir and the youth choir. And then by around like middle school, like seventh, eighth grade, I went to um, this gospel kind of like concert little little small little concert and i didn't really necessarily want to do gospel because i was like not to go against the grain but it's just like i was always a go against the grain person <laughs> but um i just knew that performing and that moment just watching them i said i want to do that like i want to perform like not just sing solos for church i want to be able to perform and give high energy like performances and just bring like that positive energy and music so ever since then i had been working on it um and I picked up rapping, honestly, around like ninth, 10th grade, because I was kind of like, okay, well, if I can sing and I can write poetry at the time, I can rap because it's almost the same thing. It's just over a beat instead of you just in a poem. So I was like, okay, well, let me just, because I want to make myself versatile. I was like, I don't want to just be stuck with singing. Let me see what else I can do musically. So it turned from singing to singing and rapping. And I started writing my own stuff. To this day, I still write my own stuff. And then um, my first time in the studio was 16. And then I did a gospel song. Didn't really go far. It's all right. Um, and then I just picked it up in December. So by December of 2017, that's when I made it an official career. And I started off as Blu-ray, actually. Because <laughs> I didn't really have a name at first. And somebody gave me that name. And I was like, okay, it can kind of ring a little bells a little bit. But um Ever after that, I was Blu-ray for only a year because after a while, I was just like, somebody who should be a close friend of mine, she kind of snapped me out of it. And she was like, Blu-ray doesn't seem like you. You don't seem like yourself. And it wasn't like I was not acting myself, but I was kind of taking up a persona that wasn't me. Like, 
kind of like how a lot of these female rappers are now with the lace front wigs and then they just rap about stuff that is kind of like <laughs> vulgar and that wasn't like that vulgar but it was close enough and i from that conversation it made me cry a little bit because it hurt my pride but i had to realize she was actually helping out so after that i hungered down and said all right look we're going to change the image we're going to change the message we're going to change the sound we're going to change the name so what are we going to do and it's like immediately i just knew right and i said okay well i want to have like a meeting to it and ray is actually my nickname my real name is rachel and ray was always a nickname and i didn't like r-a-y because it seemed cliche so i did r-a-e and I broke it down to real and explicit. And explicit meaning like explicit content, meaning like a cursing times here and there in my music. But real means that I'm telling the story, but I'm also giving like inspiration and just like giving good vibes, but it's still cranks, but it's still like that good vibe that makes you remember what music's supposed to do. Because music is an influence, but what are you going to, what are you telling the people to be influenced to do in their lives? Like, are you going to keep telling them that drugs and being in the street and trapping? and um having sex and stuff like that is that what you want to tell the youth and that's what my target is the youth or you want to bring back what music's supposed to be and it's supposed to push like positivity or just tell the story or just give good music you don't got to talk about drugs and sex you just you can talk about the sun like it don't matter but like something other than that something that's just that's just new but also meaningful and that was my um turning point and now that's where you have ray now but it's not an alter ego ray is me i am ray like that's part of my name like how rihanna's name is her middle name and robin's her first name but she chose rihanna because that made her name mm. so but it's still her it's still original it's still authentic and that's what i thrive off as when i'm when as ray so okay well that's a good story and uh you know you were mentioning uh inspirations and influences a minute ago uh why don't you tell me some of the about i mean i'm sure that rihanna the one that you just mentioned is probably one but do you have any other influences besides her um rihanna um missy elliott and um first and foremost i want to say goddess because honestly like if it wasn't for me changing myself i wouldn't have figured out what my full purpose is in doing music you know some people go after the fame and the clout and the glitz and the glam i see that as okay that's just the pros to it that's what comes with it but what is the real purpose of you doing it like is that all you want because if that's all you want that's going to be gone like that you're not really going to make a mark you're not going to be really remembered for no for nothing other than that artist who made all the money and partied a lot and bought all these cars and chains like that's mm -hmm. it so I would say God because of the fact of first and foremost, because of the fact of like, I knew that my gift in music had a bigger meaning than just fame. It's supposed to be an impact, it's supposed to help others out, but more so supposed to bring the youth and be a game changer for music because the music wave now is kind of stale and it's like the same thing and it's like not as colorful as like or as lively anymore with the message and tone of it. And that's why I see that, that was a bigger purpose for me in music. But also, um, Rihanna, because she was unapologetically her, and she didn't want to be called a pop star because she knew that music was her love. Just like me, music is my love, so I didn't want to just be gospel because then people put expectations around you. Mm -hmm. Oh, so they're a gospel artist, so anytime you want to move from that, it's like, well, I thought there was a gospel, and there's just no point of just having that for yourself. You create your own expectation of yourself so i make myself open because i can write whatever i can write pop rap gospel i can do whatever i want because that's what a real artist can do they can just create whatever mm -hmm. so i i'm inspired by her not only even in my sound not to copy her but i listen to her a lot so it kind of came into my sound too but you can still tell tell us me but it's just a matter of just being yourself being authentic and breaking the rules of what music has would deem you to be and try to box you into because you shouldn't put a limit to yourself and missy elliott is another is my last one because um i picked the producing to kind of help me with my patience because i'm an impatient person and i know when you make a beat it takes time if you want it to sound good but she also influenced me to do it because one is one not too many female producers and she's one of the dopest ones in my opinion and then two she added a swag to it and i have a swag to my style so it's kind of like we kind of connect in that arena but she made a difference and she paved a, a um a deep pathway 
for a lot of female artists in the producer and director and choreographer like arena because she's more than just doing music she's also those things too and on top of that she she became an icon from that so she's always going to have her name placed in plaster in the history of music but on top of that is a bigger impact because she's a woman and so is rihanna she she now she has a multi-billion dollar company that caters to all women of all sizes and colors and it helps build the boost the confidence in women because that's one thing us as women always need both coming from ourselves and not from the society or from television or media says but from what we create to be so those three are my biggest inspirations honestly okay yeah those, those are pretty good people and uh, as we mentioned rihanna you know i know she's um uh, she's re she's very talented and uh obviously uh so she she uh obviously is a good influence uh and i can understand where you got that from so uh, why, why don't we talk about your music for just a second? Uh, tell us where you can find it, and uh, I guess you don't have physical copies, but if you do, you can let us know that as well. But uh, we want to hear where you get your music. Um, I don't have physical copies, and that's one thing I'm gonna have to invest in. It's been on my mind, but um, all this on digital digital platforms is on every streaming platform. I'm talking about YouTube, Apple Music, Spotify, Deezer, Google Play, Amazon, Tidal. Um, SoundCloud, it's on all those, and you can search me um, as um, all caps R dot A dot E dot, and then um, space capital R, and then lowercase E A L, um, the letter N, explicit E X P L I C I T, and um, that's how Digital Kids set it up. Even though that's not how my whole name is, it's really just Ray, but they set up that way so that way I don't. I guess come up as somebody else, but um, you can find me on all platforms under that spelling, and you can follow me on Instagram too. So if you missed it, you can follow me on Instagram, and my highlights have the um links to those as well. So if you can't really find it on your own, so and I have a website too, and on my website, the links are on there too. My website's www.realandexplicitmusic.com. R A L A N D E X P L I C I T music.com. It is all there. So. Okay, well, that's good, and uh, everybody will have to check that out there, and uh, I'm sure that you'll be satisfied with it, just like I was. And um, <laughs> um, So why don't we, uh, speaking again of music, why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, the name of this music video we're about to see, and if there's a story behind it, we'll love to hear that. Um, funny story, we're, I'm actually currently working on the video for the song that she sent you, but um so it's basically like the language the picture of the song and the song's playing in the background um but it's called champion and i'm pushing this song the hardest out of all my music not like the rest of the music isn't good because it definitely is but champion i'm pushing the hardest because everybody around here loves that song every time somebody hears it they love that song but the story behind champion is um i wasn't even saying i wouldn't say i was going through a hard time but you sometimes have to still be prepared for when hard times come. There's always going to be a storm in your life. It's always going to be something you're going to have to overcome. And Champion speaks on that. Champion basically encourages people to realize that you can be like a phoenix. You can rise from whatever situation. You can get knocked down so many times, but always continue to rise and rise on top at all times and believe in yourself and be a winner, be a champion in any situation and don't give up. And even keep the champion, you know, attitude and mindset within yourself because that helps you to get through even the toughest times in life, especially with what's going on now. It's really hard on a lot of people. So I'm pushing this song the most because it speaks great volumes on being a champion. And not because it cranks, <laughs> but it's also just to encourage others to just stay strong, basically. Stay strong, keep the faith, and have hope but also have all of that within yourself because it starts here in your heart. So that's the story behind it. Okay. Yeah. And that sounds like it's self-explanatory too. Uh, the title of it being champion there. So, <laughs> um, so uh, I know we're all looking forward to watching that and we'll be doing that in just a moment or two, but um, I, I think that's pretty much all I need for right now. Ryan, we want to thank you for coming by on the show and having a few minutes with us and uh, anytime you want to, Anytime you want to come back, just uh, let me know. Maybe we'll have you back on as a follow-up sometime. Okay, that's perfectly fine. Thank you for having me. Like this was this was definitely dope.
Okay, well, uh, we'll get to that video right now. Here's uh, Champion by Ray, right here on Paul Mash TV. Don't go away. I'm paying Adam right now. I ain't paying nobody. They don't know money. They know I'm winning. Everything in house. Hey, look. Hey, hey. Another 